When it comes to learning coding online, two of the big giants are Treehouse and Pluralsight. Today we're going to go ahead and look at both and see which one is right for you. Check it out. So here on Treehouse, you can see at the home page, it's a very um, simplistic design. They give you a call out here, 14 days free, $25 a month. If we take a look though, it, it tells you about their process, learn, practice, earn badges. Uh, very neat, um, kind of cutesy design and it's geared more towards beginners and intermediate um, developers. So if we take a look over here actually at Pluralsight, you can see that they have a very different home screen. Build skills, work smarter, uh, and all the different um, types of tech they offer. And here's a background with all the different frameworks. Start your 10-day free trial. Here's the skills they offer, intelligent skill development. So by looking at this, it's very clear that this is for a intermediate to advanced um, learner, someone that's probably already in a job. Uh, so that's right off the bat, you can, you can learn more about that. If we take a look at Treehouse, if we can go back here, let's see if I can pull it up. Well, it doesn't show here because it logged me in, but um, Treehouse is um, $25 a month. That's it. Um, flat rate, there you go, and you can get the classes. Now with Pluralsight, what it is is actually $29 a month. So only $4 more, not too much more, or you can do it annually and save 15% for 300 bucks or 299 to be specific. Uh, so there, there's a difference in price um, there, but the, the difference is probably the, the libraries are a lot bigger. But let's let's go ahead and talk about courses now. So in uh, Treehouse, if we go to the home screen after you've logged in, you can see that they have points and it shows you it's color co coded and will show you the different types of uh, learning that you've done. So that's what these colors stand for. We're not gonna go over that but let's let's see what we have here in the library you can see there's a tech degree that's to learn like web development it's something that I uh, I'm not gonna go over this course but you can definitely do so um, it's kind of like a path to learn here are a bunch of courses that you can do laid out pretty basic uh, showed you HTML a thumbnail that's it uh, for me I don't think that's descriptive enough but if you go here you can see that you have workshops and stuff I don't know about this layout. I don't know if I love it, but it, they have tracks, which will be paths. And a lot of learning, uh, online learning courses have this now. Tracks will just show you all the different uh, things you can learn. Java development, full, script, uh, full stack development. I do like this. And if you look into it um, deeper, it's going to pull something up here and it'll show you uh, what, what you're going to learn in the beginning and the course progression very nicely laid out. So how does that compare to something like Pluralsight? Well, if we log in here, we'll get, um, this is the information that they give you. It shows you what you're proficient in and what you know, which is really nice. You can take a test and it'll show you this is your, your proficiency level and um, in comparison with other people. Very nice. They also have paths. If we take a look here, these arrows, we take we open it up and we can see all the different different paths react html5 there are tons of them they're not very descriptive but just like treehouse if we go ahead and open it up it's going to show you what there's my skill level on this i i need to retake that get get skilled up that was a long time ago but it's going to show you all the different react courses uh if we go here to browse you can see you can browse here or just search for something that's a big difference uh, it's much easier to search for something like uh uh, ASP is going to pull up all these courses here. If we search through them, here is a brief uh, overview. You can add this to your stuff. You can filter. Now, compared to Treehouse, they don't have as many courses, at least uh, last time I was here, which, which has been a while. But if we go through the library and try to search uh, through stuff, it's, it's very hard to find. Uh, here it is. It's, 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 not, uh, it's not as evident. And let's say I want to look for something, the same thing, ASP. Let's see what happens. Well, we get some things here, ASP.net, uh, billing services, dependencies. Um, if we actually go into the courses, let's, let's take a look at the differences here. Um, here is an overview. You can go ahead and start a trailer. Let's do that. Services expose data and processes through APIs implemented using common approaches or standards. 
Now, the first thing to note is the production quality is so high on uh, Treehouse. It's amazing. I highly um, recommend anyone starting out with Treehouse to, to do so, just because their production quality help, helps you focus better. You have an about section about the course, who's teaching it, uh, you can download those if you have Pro, and what you're going to learn. It's a very nice introduction, and there's uh, some more steps and stuff here, but I don't think it has like a, a section to to talk with um, individuals, but there is an option when you're in the actual course, you'll get uh, an option to post in a forum, a treehouse forum. Very, very helpful. If we're going to go ahead and look at a course through Pluralsight, let's go ahead and open one here. It's going to take you here. It tells you what the course is, who the course author is. Um, it's it's pretty good, actually. Uh, I like this, but I've seen it so much. Um, the rating uh, that users have given, intermediate, duration, excellent. And then if you go down here, you can even expand it to to see more about what you're going to learn in each module. And then you have a description, exercise files, discussion recommended. As you can see, this popped up because uh, I don't have access to that because I am not currently using this. But there's this discussion where you can see what other people have said about it. That's an awesome feature. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the um, trailer looks like. Hey everyone, my name is Alex Wolf, and welcome to this course, ASP.NET Core, the M. So as you can see, the trailers or, or the video, there's a big difference. Um, Plural Sight has gotten a lot better though. Um, they're, they're not that live camera thing, but they have gotten better with animations and, and making sure that it's streamlined and, and kind of updated. But Treehouse, being that it's for beginners and intermediate, they're going to give you a lot better production, hold your hand a lot more versus um, Pluralsight is more for uh, professionals or intermediate people. So they're not going to give you all the frills, but they're definitely going to give you more about like the language. Now the difference between classes, Pluralsight, Pluralsight has been around for, for a minute now and they have a huge library, but sometimes the courses go out of date. With Treehouse, uh, you're learning something new. They usually keep these courses up uh, to date really well. Uh, because they're they're dealing with people who are learning basic knowledge, basic like languages for the most part, or or getting up to speed, and they need they, they can't have that right. Uh, Treehouse is all about learning and getting into the industry and stuff. Uh, Plural site, you're already there, and so you're gonna have something more specific sometimes where it's it's different. And another thing is is with Treehouse, they're a lot like Linda. They vet their uh, their instructors, and they usually do it right there in the studio, at least. In my experience, they have a camera crew and, and a production team, and the, the teachers are usually on staff, where Pluralsight, it's, there's a lot more going on. There's a lot more professionals, a lot more tech being taught, so they, they contract with someone. But it's not like Udemy. It's not quite like that. They actually have to vet you. Um, someone's going to talk with you, and uh, you get an audition and, and give them a, an example of which, what type of work you're going to do, and then you're allowed to do that. And they still have some... Uh, Excuse me, let's get to a different page. They still have um, some help with production. They'll definitely help you out with some of the production there. And uh, it's it's improved dramatically over the, the past couple of years. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So which one do you think you fit in? Treehouse or Pluralsight? Let me know in the comments and we'll have a discussion about it. As always, if you like this content, be sure to subscribe and come back and hit the bell if you want to get every single notification. That's it for this week, but I will see you next time.